Wow, this takes a long time. I'm guessing it's gonna take a super long time. At least they're all chilling up here where they can breathe-ish. Eh. Um, yeah. Should I clean this? Or should I dump it into space? I did want it to get hot and then just get rid of it. Where is that water coming from? Oh, from this. This is overflowing here, huh? Auto bottle. Let's go and turn this off. Off! Yeah, that mesh is uh, letting it leak just a little bit. Let's go and replace this with a regular tile here. Just to keep that blocked off for now. Because I just spent all that time cleaning up all this shit. And now it's all... <sighs> Amazon Delivery Hub under construction. Jeez. Yeah, so look. So now we have a new overlay that we get to use. Shipping lines. Very expensive. Like metal. So much metal uh, for this system. But it's working. It is loading. It's going to take probably another 50 or so cycles. Or more than that, actually. So the question is, do I just deconstruct all of this stuff now? How about we do this? Let's start with this. Let's drop all this shit on the ground. The core is going to go out the window. Everyone's going to be super upset. I don't care. Everything drops on the ground. Everything goes into receptacle. Some of them are going to come down here and manually load it up, which is totally fine as well. Great. Good. Is that door safe open? Good. Is it auto? It's open. Okay, good. So that's going to take like 20 years. Base is still getting hot. 90 degrees now. What is this at? 92.4 degrees. Still getting hot. Do we go to space yet? I don't think we're ever going to go to space, man. Uh, the carbon dioxide, you can use that to basically transfer heat. That's all. Let it get warm and then just eject it into space. Do I have, like, space down here somewhere? Is there, like, a small vacuum or something I could evacuate this stuff to? Too bad you can't, like, chip holes into the wall or something like that in order to, like, you know, make a hole into space and just pipe everything out. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to go and send it up here and get rid of it. So the idea is, once the carbon dioxide gets to a certain temperature, then we can, um move it off into space but this is great i mean it works uh it's not enough like we definitely need more so i guess i'll go ahead and blueprint this say new blueprint and then i'll copy that oh, hold on a second though <clears throat> this conveyor system only goes one way right it's only gonna go to like if i want to get something out of here which which overlay button is it f9 f11 uh, 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 uh. i guess it doesn't have one okay what is it it's uh sh left chip f3 okay um, I'm sure the conveyors will go either way, but it's going to go into, like, pipes, like, like gas pipes or, 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 um, liquid pipes. It's going to go to where, yeah, this is. So, I wonder if... The over the germ overlay? Let's see. Uh, what was that, 11? Oh, yeah, there's a good amount of slime one down here. They're fine. They're fine. If you can ranch slicksters uh, and t turn the CO2 into oil. I could do that. I could do that. I also have, like, a lot of oil. Um, so I'll probably just not do that right now because <laughs> I have so much oil. Uh, yeah, so they're working diligently on that. Great. Great, great, great. Slime is bad, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Like, it used to be, like, really bad. Um... What is this made out of? All these pipes made igneous rock? Oh god, that are you made out of something good. Like, I can't even like take this apart and get some good shit out of it. <sighs> but hey, this part's working. So now how do I get this stuff out? I would set up a... Uh... I guess a receptacle? No. Transport. They used to kill your dupe in like a couple of cycles and tough to get rid of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they cough on somebody else and spread the germs and all that stuff. But yeah, they really nerfed it. It's like hardly even an issue right now. Ice. Sure. 8.5 tons of ice. I think I have an ice bin down here. Yeah, right here. That's where the ice goes. 
How is this room doing, by the way? 43 degrees. It is dropping a little bit. <laughs> Uh, 32 degrees, 54 degrees. There's a couple 60s in here too, so it's still, it's not quite there yet. Uh, it looks like we're actually getting a little bit of heat transfer right here. Uh, so we're actually losing a little bit here because it's yellow. So this insulated though, that shouldn't be a problem. No, I think that's false. It's a vacuum, so we're not losing anything there. Yeah, no, we're fine. How, how, how cold is the air coming in? We're getting a lot of oxygen. I, man, I wish it was more. 43 degrees, 43 degrees. I just wish it was so much more. Okay. Yeah, so it's like we have such a huge amount of space, right? And we have, you know, at, before we were like just jam-packed with oxygen. We had so much oxygen. It was just, everything was going great. And the temperature was awesome, but it's very slowly rising. So now it's gotten to the point to where we're reaching dangerous levels of heat, where now the the dupes can't grow their own food out in the open. Before we can grow in the open, it was fine. It was like 80 degrees. It was beautiful. Um, but there's so much oxygen in the in this area because it's such a big, wide open space. It's tough to just, we can't just look at this and say, okay, let's just like cycle this gas through, you know, um, you know, some kind of cooling mechanism, whatever it is, whether it's a biome, whether it's a, uh, a machine or whatever. We can't just necessarily just pipe all this gas somewhere and just have it just the problem to solve itself like that. Like we have to come up with another way. And the other, the other way that I'm thinking it might be beneficial is, um, and this is how I did it with my previous uh, build, is is build a Weezwort uh, hydrogen cooling room that basically just lets the wheeze warts just, just sit there and just work on hydrogen in a room. And then once it gets to a certain temperature, then send that in and around the base to certain areas where it needs to cool. Uh, and what's nice about a wheeze wart room is it costs basically nothing in resources outside of uh, phosphorus and fertilizer or whatever, maybe water. Um, and they're really compact. And all you have to do is just basically build a loop with uh, hydrogen going from, you know, in a big ass loop, essentially. Oh, hi, Buffy! How did I do that? Oh, well. Buffy, congratulations. Uh, you are officially the first woman dupe to space. You're the first person to space, actually. Uh, in Space Bros Alpha. Congratulations! Your, your, your tales of your, your life will be told for generations to come. Yeah, so yeah, it was, but I'm glad you're here. In case you're wondering, we gave you a tasteful memorial. It's just right, it's right next to a conveyor loader, but it's fine. Um, you would have wanted it that way, I think. <laughs> uh, you also had critters inside of you. Yeah, there's that, there was also that weird issue where, like, critters just showed up out of nowhere when you died. It's really weird. If, if it makes you feel any better, I really felt bad when it happened. I think anybody here can vouch, I felt bad. <laughs> I really did. All right, so the buildings will only do the buildings, right? Don't do the back, don't do the temp shift plates I spent 100 cycles building. Good. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. All right, so the oxyphorns are basically done. Body temperature is done. So let's go ahead and actually uproot these wheeze warts because not doing anything right here. I actually don't know if these wheeze warts are doing anything. Like, they're here and they're working, but I don't know if they're actually contributing to keeping these natural gas generators from being too hot. Um, so I kind of want to take them and and use them somewhere else. But I think for the time being, it might be just smart to go ahead and take some of those wheeze warts and stick them over here just to, you know, help this area a little bit. It took us on to get out. <laughs> to get out of what? Let's speed things up. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Someone go over here and do Okay. Let's go. Hug shot, you're my dude. Let's go. Okay. Someone else. 
There we go. Lindsay. Wart seed. Plant. Oh, so if you want to know how you died, yeah, you went to space. Like, you, you went out into space, and then uh, there was, I think there was, like, a collapse behind you. Um, and you just couldn't get out in time, and that was pretty much it. Okay, so temperature's dropping. So this is good. This will keep some food coming. That way we don't have to have somebody cooking all the time. I think it's Boots, right? Boots is the cook. Yeah, Boots. <laughs> just frying shit up there. No, the body's not up there. No, <laughs> that's terrible. No, the body's right here. Somewhere in here. I don't know. We, we, we grinded it up and we, we made granite out of it and we built a nice little memorial for you. Thinking everything really moved. So you see, now we have all this open space here that we could work with. Move some of this stuff, this machinery down. Oh man, this is going to be a huge bitch. The asynchronous save money on the workshop? What is that? Ooh, this thing's hot as hell. Look at this. Oh, asynchronous save mod. Oh. Does that just uh, keep keep it from stalling? Is that it? That weird stall. Oh, shit. They finished this. Oh, my God. I just totally forgot this even existed. Uh, I see ventilation. Regular gas pipe. So what do we got? What's our flow here besides... Like, bit of a mess. Uh, so the machine, okay, that goes in there, in and out there. So we have some going into this. That's gonna be. Oh, okay, so that sh should. Oh, she's like backwards. So this needs to get connected to maybe like right just like this. Although we need to get gas out of the room more than anything. Oh god, I don't want to break into that abyssalite. Hurts hurts my soul to like break into abyssalite, but uh it's fine. We'll just do this. And that'll get it going here, 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 out, in, out, in, eh. Out, out, in, out, in, and then out, and then we don't have an out here, an official out here. So we'll go and break this one. And then we'll just use this. Just to, this will empty out a ton. Like, this is a lot of hydrogen we can just take into store, basically, is all we're going to do with it. And then what we'll do is we'll take this area that's going to eventually empty out because of the, um, because it's a vacuum in there. And we'll just plop. So there we go. So now we can get all this hydrogen over here into this room. Uh, it'll empty it out. It's, it's gonna be nice and cool, which is pointless right now, but, you know. Thank you. But it'll keep all this stuff moving. This machine's working. Gets rid of the pause on save every day. Oh, nice. Such a cool room to be in. <laughs> Second top. <laughs> uh, let me see. It's filling up really fast. Oh, man, okay. It holds a lot, but man, it's filling up really fast. All we want is to basically alleviate some of the pressure from here because as long as the gas in this room stays stagnant, we're not going to get, it's not going to get any colder. Um, so we need to keep flow. The flow needs to go, it needs to get out, needs to get down here, needs to get pushed out, and then back into the room after it gets cooled by these two aqua tuners, or two uh, thermoregulators. Um, we do have to also monitor the amount of hydrogen we're getting from this up here. You could probably actually go ahead and stop this from working. So we're going to disable this. Brian. I don't know what to do with Brian, so I'm just going to reject. Just not something I want to learn right now. Okay, so yeah, so now the question is... How do... Oh, fuck it. Let's just copy this thing and, and just make another copy here. So we'll go like... Yeah, we could go like this. No. A little closer. Do do do. This is going to be storage. So storage, see, uh, uh, convey, oh my god. Okay, let me go to new print. So we can put that right here. Perfect. Yes. We'll cut into a little bit of abyssalite, or, or we won't cut that or that. And we'll just cut that one piece, one piece of abyssalite. That's fine. I can deal with that. I can live with that. Now let's run. I think we just need a conveyor and power to uh, to move over. Yeah, to here. 
And then, oh, that's an emergency, I guess. And then, <laughs> and then we're gonna go and put uh, the conveyor needs also move. Conveyor rail, make that a nine. So that'll just go from, mm, wow, not a whole lot. I can make six. No way, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the only one more. I can make 12 out of iron, Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's it. Try and avoid doing taxes. Oh man, yeah, I gotta do mine too. Oh shit. So this is a good amount of storage. Definitely more than what I had up here. Uh, yes, yeah, definitely more than what I had up there. So this is... Yeah, sufficient. Room to expand if we need to, just a little bit. And then, I guess we should start thinking about how we're going to get some of this gas out of here. 109 degrees. Start pulling some of that out. Uh, God, this door just transmitting all this heat, man. I wonder if I should... If they can't... No, they because they need to be able to reach it. I don't have a way to get this out. Soon everything will be an emergency. <laughs> nah, we're past that point. These are, these are all nines, right? What are these? What's the priority of these things? Look at, they're all fives! Huh? They're fives! It's doing fine! They're working. They're working. If any, if any, look, they're actually skipping the nines. See? To work on the fives. <sighs> can you guys hear me gulping? I feel like I can hear it, but, it's, but it's, I'm also the one gulping, so maybe that's why. I have never seen this animation. <laughs> oh, he's feeling sick. Probably slime lung. He'll be fine. So all of this, this is great. All of this. We could just figure out how to move it somewhere else. Gas pipe. One piece of gas pipe, huh? Uh, all this liquid down here. These oxyferns are basically dead. Uh, we could just take these oxyferns and just move them somewhere else. Uh, we should probably go ahead and actually pop a cap. <laughs> like, pop the uh, the seal here to get some of that water out. This water is coming down from what? From there. Oh, it's not. It's like a complete... Yeah, we don't need, we don't need this water at all. So we could just pop all these pipes and... Um, just let this water just fall and break it and just, you know, break these things down here and let all this water just fall down into, uh, uh, into this pit, suck it up, throw it in this bin. So this bin is going to be basically our main water supply, which means probably full of germs. Nope. It's clean, except for this little thing right here, but that's fine. Uh, and that'll also free up this area as well. So how do I want to do this? we do just buildings and we'll go what the hell <laughs> that's cute uh, we'll leave that one I don't want to break the uh, the drains okay but I do have to break this here so we'll break this pipe I should we'll just snip it There we go. So all the water is going to come pouring out down into here. It'll all come down here, which is fine. It'll get sucked up, get thrown back in there. Great. Keep it nice and clean. We could now we could use this area for fucking who knows what. Who's gonna room with Donis now? <laughs> who is room with Donis? Uh, let me see. Dude, what is where's Corey's room? Let me see. Boots. Uh, chaos. Martha. Killing demon. Donis. Okay, so it's uh, chaos. Chaos and Donis are sharing uh, common common areas. Hey, look at that. This thing actually worked. Great. Just barely. So this is going to keep us alive for a minute. Probably going to do the same thing for the next two. Let me go and actually uproot this one. Uproot this one. And then we will, for this one, I could probably just put one in the middle and get some good coverage. And then we're going to actually go ahead and uh, get rid of these guys. I don't think, I really don't think, feel like these are doing anything. Uproot. Who's that? Who's that? Let's not do that one. Let's do the ones in the middle. Who's that? Super Punt! Thank you so much. How much is that one? 21 months. Drinking age. Thank you for that. Let's have air cooler next to those uh, net gens to cool the main area. 
Wait, what do you mean? There's no real, like, air cooler. Like, there's, like, an air conditioning system. You kind of have to build it. Um, like, using, like, the uh, uh, thermal regulators and all that stuff. Uh, so I probably won't do that with this. Like, these, these things, I think, are keeping themselves cool. I don't think the Wii Sports are really doing too much. But what I need to do is get, like, all these, like, these batteries and all this stuff. I need to move these things down because I need to... Well, actually, no. I don't know what I'm going to do with this space right now. Maybe more machinery later, but I do need to basically double wall this whole thing here. Because this is just letting... I mean, I'm just letting heat just, just radiate in from up here. Um... Yeah. Oh, man. Like, we need... We probably should have doors in here. Uh... Like powered doors, not like this one here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and deconstruct this, and we'll put a uh, better door there. Just a regular manual airlock. Manual airlock. Let's make it out of something that is thermal reactive, uh, thermal conductivity. Okay, we'll wait. Okay, copper, copper. Oh, you know what? They don't have to go in here like ever. Yeah, you know what? We'll just use insulated. And then, let's actually, what is this? Igneous rock? That could just stay there. I don't care about that. Good. So all of this is going to go down. Uh, this deoxidizer we can probably get rid of. Let's go ahead and deconstruct that. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this... Uh, Wall right here. Let's go de deconstruct this uh, half an airlock that's just open all the time. They're still working on this. Superb. All that water is draining down. Great. All this is good. Mop this up. Gonna take forever. This bottle emptier. We could deconstruct that. We could deconstruct this and this. Is it just that? Yes. Good. Okay. And might as well go ahead and deconstruct those. Okay. Oh, pipsqueak. Cute. You can stay in there for a bit. How is this area doing over here? We should be seeing 45 degrees, 52 degrees, no 60s, no 60s. Come on. Oh, there's a couple 60s up in the corner. Question is, are we are we maxed out here? We are almost, almost maxed out here. Okay, so once this is maxed out, then we could uh we will start to... Let me see. Well, we have airflow. This is all good. Pipe blocked. Water pipe's blocked? No, the gas pipe is blocked? Oh, because it's not connected to anything. That's right. 37 degrees. Okay, I think this is slowly working. This air should be getting cooler. What is it at? 40, 45 degrees? Okay. And then we could put wart here, plant, copy settings, you and you. All right, so this is a very temporary, um, temporary like 25 cycles, 50 cycles set up here. So that way we can have uh, um, food. <laughs> Holy temp shift plates. Yeah, I went crazy with temp shift. It's all temp shift plates. I just, it's all dirt though, like it's not, it wasn't like some crazy resource or something like that just blew all out. It's like, it's just dirt. <laughs> How come this is not, oh god, there's natural gas leaking into the base. <laughs> oh man. So how can I get them to build? Try to think, how do I get another layer of insulated across here? Like, they can't reach it. Like, once it gets to a certain point, like, they can't, like, they can't reach that far. I'll do, like, a couple at a time and, hmm. We should probably set up a med room, actually. That's something that we're desperately needing, I think. So let's do it. Med room. We'll make this, like, low priority for now that we can plan it out. Don't work this time, ice plates. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Uh, let's see. That was funny, though. Is that actually transmitting any... Uh, eh, not really, but I should probably go ahead. Eh, we'll leave it alone. 
I feel like I should, I should probably block this off because I feel like eventually it's gonna start um, leaking, but yeah, we should. Because if I, if I break the seal here, then all that natural gas is in there and there is a quite a bit. It's just all gonna come shooting out. And I don't want that, obviously. So that's where the natural gas is coming from, by the way. So we'll do this. We'll leave the, ins the, the we're building up, so. I'm gonna cut all this out. Insulate off from the inside. Then, can they reach from up there? Oh, make it low? No. And then it goes right across here. Hmm, that's gonna make that part a little wonky. But they, some of this is kinda wonky anyways. It's arbitrary right there. Let's get rid of that. What did I just click on over here? Nothing, okay. That's never gonna get made. Well, it's working. They're working on it. <laughs> so I guess it is gonna get made. Airflow tile. And then pneumatic door. So now we need some medicine stuff. Let's see. So probably hand sanitizer, which we have. I think we have some bleach stone. So that'll work. We have water, actually. We have water, like, all accessible. So we could just grab some water from there. We'll put a sink. No, 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 no. Medicine. Lindsay. <laughs> Fucking Lindsay. There. Don't get to it. She's not going to starve anytime soon. Good job, Lindsay. <laughs> okay, now in terms of what uh, medicine stuff. So we definitely gotta have a bunch of triage cots, that's for sure. So let's just, uh, priority one. So we'll say like uh, one, two, three, and then a sink. I know we have like disease to sick bay, all this stuff, but I think just to keep it simple, we should just have the most, the most basic. And maybe we we'll use a wash basin actually. No, they can't get water anywhere, so. Uh, oh, they get water out of the, um, yeah, we have a special, uh, dispenser right here. So I get it from there. Okay, cool. So there, that, that'll at least replace this setup here. The massage tables. I think we have enough crap everywhere else for them to relax in. So we'll get rid of those. We'll get rid of these. And then we'll have to figure out how we're going to insulate this. Double insulate this. Comes the nights. <laughs> All the sticky notes. No, I can't. Uh, let me see. What are my sticky notes? I don't have any. I'm not, I have not done anything. I have not done any- oh, gas storage! Yes! We did one thing. Oh, Lindsay. She's gotta use the restroom, too. Whoever's on night shift, there we go, Donis. Night shift Donis. Get it. Ah, uh, shit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, don't let it spill over. There we go. Jeez. <sighs> what if I should lower this down one? Nah, let's leave it. That way at least it looks uniform with everything else. We're gonna replace uh, some of these cots with other things as well, I think. Later. Maybe we can actually build this out and make it a two-story hospital or something. It's not a bad idea. What do we need to make that make it a uh, hospital? Let's see, medical equipment, toilet, mess table, no industrial machinery, and minimum size is twelve tiles. Huh. Maximum size is okay. So I could expand underneath and just kill one of the triage cuts. Let's see and. Toilet, mess table, no industrial machinery. Yeah, I could do that later. Not right now, though. It's getting cold in here. How is this project going? Oh, great. Fantastic. Not quite done, but good. What is the priority on these things? Fives. Even the nines aren't done. Wonder why. 
Where's the uh, iron ore construction iron? Okay. Oh, because Corey's the only one that could do it. So because Corey's the only one that could do it, he, it has to be on his time. But at least all those bins are done. We could just go ahead and take this and copy settings and run that across. So that way they can manually go through and load it if they need to. I don't know, unless this... Yeah, this is great. I like the, uh, the the conveyor system is superb. Okay, so now let's see what happens when we let me see this. Let's see what happens when we are they done with this? What is priority one? <laughs> Suppose that could be a problem. So let's see. We'll just make that, uh, and then uh, there. So yes, so what happens <clears throat> if I were to just go... I'm guessing they can only do a couple at a time and then they won't be able to reach the others. I would have to like scale it out by priority. <laughs> Paley. <laughs> but yeah, like, I... I all this heat that we're getting from the base here, like it's, it's, you could see it's like radiating up from the bottom. So we need to cut that off now by basically just putting a whole bunch of, uh, of, uh, insulated tile across the bottom and locking this area off. And that's part of the, part of the reason why I want to automate some of the storage because there's no reason for these guys to, um, I don't want these guys to go all the way down there to get something out of storage, uh, if I could avoid it. Get, get all that shit out of here because I'm sure this stuff's putting off heat too. What is Corey working on? Hold on a second. Corey's got priorities, and they are what? Stannis. Um. Oh, it's building. It's building's pretty low priority, so let's go ahead and raise that up, actually. There we go. Good. He's the only one that could build these things, so yeah, that should probably raise that up on his list. There he goes. See? <laughs> See how when you play the game right? Hopefully no one gets hurt. We don't have any, any hospital anywhere. I do want to see this, though. What happens? What happens? Oh, wait. What's the priority of this? They, they're all working so diligently here. Nine. Let's make that eight. Okay. Okay. Ah, see, so right there, something like it's stuck, right? Is chaos stuck now? Yep. Oh, oh, wait, can you finish that one last piece? Now I'll just, what, what'll do with them? Oh, <laughs> 